we go specifically what all right so this is going to be a short video i know i always say this but this is going to be a short one for sure so let's say you have a pet store right you can you don't have to have a short store already for this knowledge here. you can also apply this to actually build your store okay that's what you sh should do okay all right so let's say you have a pet store already it's running great you have different products right product one product two product three product four all right now in order to have a brand right and to specifically target and charge more for your products and make your product unique what you have to do is you have to transition in this pet store into a niche or sub niche store as we as we talked in the other video this is basically a category okay what we want to do is we want to niche down so how do we niche down in pets well we can go cats or dogs right so let's say we niche down to dogs now we are in a niche but what we really want to do like i said in my previous video we want to we want a sub niche if we can now can we get a sub niche in in dogs yes we can right we go specifically what kind of dog right so for example how do i write poodle so let's say poodle what we want to do is we want a poodle poodle store okay so we call it poodle poodle world okay and what you do now is instead of saying just product one you say pp1 pp1 okay so pr poodle product one poodle product two so what i mean is instead of saying instead of selling a collar you sell a poodle collar collar is it collar <laughs> i don't fucking know or like a a, po a poodle like jacket you know poodle jacket so instead of having a dog jacket or even like a if you have cats dogs and everything that you don't you don't really want a general pet store like you can get there like i said before you can sell all the products you sell on a pet store or dog store you can sell them on a poodle store but just market them to poodles okay so instead of having a a dog jacket you sell a poodle jacket it's specifically for poodles okay now you target poodle owners so as i said before on the the targeting on social media will be so much easier right like facebook tiktok google now they know okay poodle owners it's easier to target so you spend less money you can charge more too now you're very specific can you see that yeah right yeah so you're very specific right your poodle brand poodle world your products are specifically for poodles made for poodles right again stay ethical okay don't sell bullshit that doesn't make sense to poodles okay don't sell like something that should be for a pit bull to a poodle find nice things for that make sense and target it and market it and brand it for poodle only not for dogs okay this way you charge more you can target better and people if you have a poodle okay now you're 40 years old you're a woman you have a poodle and you want to buy a new collar uh, is it collar for fuck's sake i don't know this fucking thing collar collar you want to buy a collar for your poodle okay now you see two two collars on facebook 
One is a dog collar and one is a pool collar. Which one are you gonna buy? Or which one are you gonna click on? For sure the poodle one. They're obsessed with their poodle. So they want the poodle one. You can do that with any product. I'm gonna uh, make another video how, how exactly to do it with almost any product and what's important about it. But in this video, I just wanted to quickly say, so let's say you already have a dog store or pet store. It's a bit difficult to transition sometimes, but what you can do, what, will I, I, what I would do is I would pick my winning products that I sell very well and I would create a whole new store. Poodle, for poodles only. I would brand it, again, it takes some time, right? You can't just copy and paste the pictures. You have to create a proper brand. You have to put your brand everywhere. Bam, 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 poodle, poodle world, poodle world, poodle world, poodle world, okay? The people have to come on your, on your shop and it has to look like poodle world, okay? Not just any other shop. They have to remember it as poodle world. Where did you buy that from? Poodle world, you know? So, and eventually, if you start selling, you brand all the products too, okay? Packaging and everything. But for now, it's enough. You can brand, you can even put your brand on the actual product and then ship it without for, for the first times, okay? And then if you're really broke and then you make some money and you reinvest, that's very important. And you reinvest in packaging, you reinvest in, in branding. You build a proper business, okay? A proper brand. All right, that's about it. I don't even have a Coke today. No uh, drink, nothing. Anyway, I just wanted to quickly smash out that because I thought it was important. If you have any questions, comment. If you want, join the community. Like the video if you like it, if I could help you. Dislike if you don't. And see you in the next one, I guess, tomorrow.